Hello YouTubers. Oh, right, let's get going. Now, the more observant among you may realise that I'm not on my acrylic apnord. I uh Yeah, on Thursday, I was leaving to go to the UK Aprilia Forum dot com uh, camping weekend in Wales, and I got as far as the M25, and a woman in a Ford Galaxy ran me off my bike from behind, uh, outside lane, and uh, I was stopped in stationary traffic, and she didn't. And uh, yeah, just smashed into the back of me. The bike went over, um, and uh, it was a little bit bent and scratched. But luckily, I was all right. Um, yeah, so uh, that's gone away for repair by the insurance company, or well, to get assessed as to whether it's going to get repaired. I've got a feeling it. Uh, it may be close to get. Oh, bloody hell! It's a bit foggy down here. It may be close to getting written off because it's not worth a great deal. But um, I'll be a bit pissed off if it does because I like that bike. But we shall have to wait the outcome. Yeah, but uh, and I had my, my camera on my helmet, but I didn't have it turned on because um, I was saving the battery and uh, all my SD card memory when I got to Wales to the proper roads. Um, I turned it off about two minutes before because um, it was just a you know, boring bit, stuck in traffic and uh, next thing I'm not, <laughs> I'm red in the road. Um, so if you've got a camera on your helmet, night advice, keep it on at all times because you just never know. Yeah, so we're on a little bandit feels weird, it's like half the weight, or probably less less than half the weight of my bike. Um, bloody hell, it's a bit thick this is. Um, it just goes around corners like clappers. Um, uh, look for a gap. Everyone's got their fucking lights on. No, not everyone's always, ah, what are these dickheads doing? Yeah, so uh, I don't know how long I've got this until my, either I get the check for the, for the write-off or uh, I'll get my bike back, I presume. Uh, but it's ideal for just nipping to work on. Strange being on a naked bike again. This decade's got his fog light on, but you don't need your fog light on when you can see, what, 150, 200 yards in front. Oh dear. Yeah, it's a little bad, it don't make any noise either. It's got, it's got no noise. It sounds like a sewing machine. Um, so I don't know how the, how the, the lack of fairing is going to affect the wind noise on the, on the microphone volume, but I think it'll be alright. Yeah, it's got no noise, it's got no engine braking, because on me, me big twin, I mean, you just shut the throttle and you smacking your nuts on the back of the tank but this thing's a bit different but it's good fun good on it should be better on juice than my bike as well and, yeah. yeah so I've had lots of forms to fill out and uh, lots of different people phoning me up from the various departments of the insurance company so you've got the insurance company itself you've got personal injuries people you've got um, your loss, you know, loss adjustment people. So, uh, but you can almost guarantee, even though it's no, not my fault, I'm going to be massively out of pocket, either on the uh, replacement cost of a bike or uh, 
you know, all the little bits and bobs that you have to pay, like I've had to pay an insurance indemnity to have the bike, so it doesn't cost me anything if I, anything happens to it. And then they hopefully claim that back off the other person. But that's, you know, another, another couple of quid that I didn't want to uh, fork out, or shouldn't have had to have forked out if I'd have been on my own bike. But the insurance company, to be fair, has been very, very good so far. Um, we've been on the ball. I went to the police, but because it's, I was no, I wasn't injured, and everyone had exchanged details. Um, it's just a civil matter, so the police don't need to get involved. Uh, but the woman at the police station was very good as well. But um, yeah, I haven't had a. Even though my uh, username dictates that. I should be used to having lots of accidents. I have done in my past. I haven't had an accident on the road for uh, a long, long time. Where I've had to make a claim. And it's just bringing back memories of uh, how tedious and long-winded a process it is. Yeah, I'll dick over these fog lights on. So, uh, we'll have to see what the outcome is. It's just weird that it doesn't make any noise. But because it doesn't make any noise, you have to be a little bit uh, cautious that people have seen you, because they tend to hear me on my other bike before they see me. Particularly when you give them 8,000 revs at the two inches from the car window. Just to wake them up a bit. Yeah, so I used to have a an old 1200 Bandit many years ago when they sort of I think it was about two years old when I had it um, and uh, yeah that used to be an absolute king tool that did it had big rental bars on it and uh, high level pipe and never on two wheels when I ended up writing that off in a uh, spectacular wheelie incident so hopefully uh, I won't get carried away and do that sort of thing with this one. It's not my bike, so we'll just ride it to work and uh, have a bit of fun. Is this one of my uh, colleagues from work, is it? Oh, yes. Yeah, I've gone back to my old L LC days. I'm riding with a finger on the lever all the time since the incident. Just in case. She loves the bends. It's a pretty good, good bike for commuting to work on, actually. Uh, what a nice little second bike. But it's quite good on the jungle juice. Right, so we're at journey's end. So uh, stay safe out there, keep your cameras on, because you never know, and uh, we'll catch you another time. Have a good one.